This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. And art imitates Bay Area street life. How homies became a hot collectible around the world. Across the Bay now, a success story that started with tiny figurines called homies. They're created by an artist here in the Bay Area. And the inspiration for one character came from close to home. Joe Vasquez tells us how that took the project in a whole new direction. We have sold in the United States, Canada, Australia, Germany, Amsterdam, Russia. From bubblegum machines to internationally beloved figurines. Over the past 10 years, oh, artist David Gonzalez of Hercules has sold more than 120 million of his homies characters worldwide. These were the people that looked like us. These are the people we ran around with. While extremely popular in Latino neighborhoods, early critics accused the homies of glorifying gangs and reinforcing negative stereotypes. Gonzalez says, no, these are just regular folks. Some were inspired by his childhood in Richmond and nearby San Pablo. I liken it sometimes to um, Norman Rockwell. And if you think about it, he painted the heartland, mid-America, the people he saw in his everyday life. I'm drawing what I see out there. One of the artist's biggest inspirations happens to be his own brother. Robert Gonzalez was a young tough who had brushes with the law. He lost part of his leg in a fight. David helped his brother through his rough patch and later looked on with pride as Robert was ordained Father Maceo, a Franciscan priest. In turn, Father Maceo counseled David on how to respond to the criticism of the homies. Soon the collection diversified. Willie G is a wheelchair-bound fellow who was wounded in a shooting. There's a soldier serving in Iraq, a journalist, and one of the most popular figures, El Padrecito, the little father, inspired by the real-life Father Maceo. David sold his brother all the rights to El Padrecito for a dollar. An online ministry was born. ElPadrecito.com has had millions of visitors, 20,000 members. Young people write emails from all over the world to a cartoon character. They get back solid advice. So you have somebody who grew up in the street, who's a high school dropout, who got involved in a gang fight, who lost his leg at the age of 19, who used to be a boxer, who's real. You don't have too many priests that can fit this mold of the Padrecito. El Padrecito, Father Maceo, actually lives in Reno now, but once every couple months he comes back here to San Pablo to mentor kids face to face. Please, I preach with a beat about the kids in the street. The group, His Kids, is led by a priest who inhabits several different worlds. A divine one, an online one. And so it's on you, kids. Tell them how it is. He is a teacher and a toy. But Father Maceo says what's most important is this being a friend, a real-life homie, to some young people who can't help but gain from his wisdom. And there are dozens of homies now. These are just a few of them. You see a firefighter there, mariachis, a Chicana activist. You get the picture. Nintendo gets the picture, too. Last month, they rolled out a new video game called Homie Rollers. So these characters are now at kart racing. Artist David Gonzalez lives in a big house in Hercules. He calls it the house that homies built. Two quarters at a time. You can still get these outside the Walmart. You put the two quarters in. Little teeny tiny journalist. Here, you can have big oh, no, loco. I, I know because you have little kids, so you have to. You have I, to. I'll, I'll take them home. Yeah. Get <laughs> okay, a Joe. Lot of enjoyment. Thanks. I enjoyed that story. Thank you very much. We're going to check in now with Roberta Gonzalez and get the forecast for tomorrow, Roberta.